Hi yo everyone I do not know I know I know it's been almost 2 months since I last uploaded but there's a valid reason behind it that I will share at the end of the video I don't need sleep I need answers You'll get your answers when you fix this damn door First let's get done with what you really came here for a spoiler free review of The Guardian of the Galaxy Volume 3 Wow, it's like just yesterday when I uploaded a reaction video of the first trailer. Just kidding. I know it's been 155 days and I have felt each and every single one of them. It's been painful. <laughs> but yeah, I went to watch Guardian of the Galaxy Volume 3 and despite the positive reviews by both critics and audiences, I found it in my best course to, to tread, tread lightly. I have made this reference before. <laughs> But as most of the recent MCU projects have been disappointing and mediocre to say the least, so I didn't want to set my expectations too high. But you know what, even if I did, I still wouldn't have been disappointed. It has so many positives and like very few negatives. I only had issue with like one or two things. But we will talk about it as the review goes. Other than that, I will say it's a perfect send off to the Guardian of the Galaxy team if this is the last time we see them. James Gunn left it on the best note possible. If you have watched any trailer, you will know that this movie is focused on Rocket and I will say his backstory might be the most heartbreaking and impactful one in MCU. James did a wonderful job of making fans root for Rocket and in the process he built up other characters as well. So props to him and everyone involved. This movie is the most emotionally engaging MCU movie since No Way Home and one of the most entertaining projects of the whole MCU. It has many hard dropping and edge of seat moments that won't let you take your eyes off the screen. Theater screens I mean. <laughs> Not just some random screens. You will miss the movie otherwise. <laughs> the best thing about this movie is that it stood on its own legs. It didn't require other superheroes cameos to keep fans engaged. It did that with its own compelling story and the chemistry between the characters. Rocket is the heart of the movie and that continued from start to finish even if he wasn't on screen. And that was what missing from the most of the recent MCU projects. They seem distracted story-wise. Having one common goal throughout the movie not only moves the story forward but adds a sense of emergency to it, if executed well. Other than the compelling story, the production design was really good as well. And the action of the movie was so fun to watch. There's a certain scene that was totally awesome. I won't even say which one cause if you have watched the movie you already know which one I'm talking about. And I like the soundtrack. It won't bore you for a second and you will groove to it. But it also brings me to one of the two issues I had with this movie. You see this movie has some really hard hitting scenes. But immediately after each scene, they will start blasting some loud rock music before you have fully taken in the scene. And I think it would have been even more impactful if some of those scenes were not immediately followed by loud music. Also, my other issue was that Adam Warlock felt like a wasted potential. His intro scene was really good. But for the rest of the movie he pretty much did nothing. They offered an explanation in the start for why he acts the way he does and I understand that but everyone's been waiting for him since the first Guardian of the Galaxy movie so it would have been nice if he did more. But yeah, these are the only issues I had, nothing big and rest of the movie easily makes up for it. You know it's funny that one of the best MCU movie will come out at the time when almost all MCU movies have been falling flat on its face. But I am glad it did. While watching it I was just like, is this real life? Is this just fantasy? It is just wacky like first two Guardian movies but even more emotionally engaging. And after this you can include Guardian of the Galaxy trilogy in best superhero trilogies. Acting by everyone was great. Zoe Saldana, Chris Pratt, Karen Gillan, Dave Bautista, Pom Clemente, Sean Gunn, Will Poulter and Bradley Cooper all gave it their best. Chukwudi Iwoji as High Evolutionary was so good in the role that this might be the first time I hated an MCU villain so much. Some MCU villains you like cause of their backstory or charm and some you hate cause of how they are executed like Taskmaster from Black Widow. But I hated High Evolutionary as intended for his actions and how the actor portrayed him. So it's a win for Chukwudi Iwoji. You know after this movie, DC's confidence on James Gunn must be high. So Marvel's plan is working. James be like, yeah Captain Feige, I mean, I mean their secret fault and all I see is some random bullshit. <laughs> but jokes aside, if you haven't watched the movie, do watch it. You won't regret it one bit. And that's all I will say about it. 
so now let me quickly explain why i haven't posted for so long if you will remember last time i was celebrating pedro's week which means i was going to upload pedro related videos for each day of the week and while it took me longer than week but i uploaded all seven videos though if you will go back on my channel you will only see six videos that's cause the seventh video i uploaded was the review for the unbearable weight of massive talent and that video got me a copyright strike by lionsgate films incorporation i tried to contact them through email but didn't get any reply which is understandable they must get countless emails every day by the way if you don't know how copyright strike works let me explain it to you quickly when you get your first strike you cannot upload for a week now this strike will expire in 90 days unless you get another strike during these 90 days your second strike will again make you unable to upload for a week or two and the 90 days expiration date is restarted so you have to wait again for 90 days for it to expire but and this is where things get interesting if you get a third strike during this 90 days period then it's termination time a channel can only get three strikes and then it is terminated then you get 7 days eviction letter to collect things you want and get the hell out of the apartment <laughs> cause it is getting destroyed that was an analogy but i hope you understood what i was trying to say so yeah the first week after my last video which is deleted now i couldn't have uploaded even if i wanted to and after that i was just demotivated and that's my fault but i was just trying to cover as many of these 90 days as i can cause i didn't want it to get another strike as that brings my channel closer to eviction termination termination i need to get over my analogy also i was busy with my exams but yeah that's the truth and the timing of this strike kinda ruins my chances of reviewing season 2 u season 4 part 2 and also john wick 4 cause that's line gates movie and i'm not messing with them until this strike has expired <laughs> but that's all for now i apologize for taking such a big break i will be more regular now and this is where i end my rambling if you like the video press the like button and consider subscribing to the channel i will appreciate it comment below if you have watched the movie or not and if you have how did you like it i will see you in the next video which hopefully won't be in two months <laughs> and <laughs> goodbye